49 to 45 years BC, the Great Roman Civil War engulfed the entire Mediterranean world. One of the most famous incidents of this conflict took place in Egypt. Julius Caesar's opponent Pompey fled to Egypt, where he hoped to find safety and support with the Ptolemaic dynasty. Hoping to enlist the support of Caesar, Ptolemy's regents, the eunuch Patinus and the generals Achilles and Sempronius captured Pompey and executed him. Caesar arrived a few days after the execution of Pompey himself. These events led to war in 48 to 47 BC, and Caesar himself found himself under siege of Alexandria itself. The Alexandrians resisted, and the battles on the streets of Alexandria were very cruel. The Romans lost many soldiers and sailors in the battles, but defended Alexandria. Steady! Steady! When the siege reached a stalemate, the Ptolemaic forces demanded that Julius Caesar release Ptolemy, the 13th Aulites who had been in Caesar's custody the entire time. Hoping to bring the war to a close, Caesar complied, but was disappointed when Ptolemy simply continued the conflict after his release. Finally, Caesar received word that Mithridates of Pergamon and Antipater of Judea trusting in Roman allies, hoping to show their support for Caesar, were approaching with a large army. Caesar sailed from Alexandria to rendezvous with relief forces, and the Ptolemaic royal army also moved to intercept. The two armies clashed at the Battle of the Nile in 47 BC, Caesar and Mithridates met seven miles from Ptolemy's position before he could attack Mithridates' army. To get to the Egyptian camp, they had to ford a small river. Ptolemy sent a force of cavalry and light infantry to prevent them from crossing the river. Unfortunately for the Egyptians, Caesar sent his Gallic and Germanic cavalry to wade across the river ahead of the main army. They passed unnoticed. When seas arrived, he ordered his men to build makeshift bridges across the river, and his army attacked the Egyptians.
the opposing forces exchanged a hail of arrows and spears, as if arrows and spears hit one and the other side of the wars. Caesar sent the cavalry to help the infantry, which faced the ranks of the Egyptian infantry. But at that moment, Ptolemy sent a detachment of war elephants to the underworld, which destroyed the ranks of the Romans and knocked down the cavalry. The battle became cruel and terrifying. At the same time, Gallic and German troops appeared and attacked the Egyptians in the flank and rear. Soon a detachment of cavalry and light infantry sent by Ptolemy was defeated by the Romans. The main Egyptian camp was built on a hill near the Nile it was connected to the neighbouring fortified village by a line of communication. The next day, Caesar decided to attack this village with his entire army in the hope that he could follow the retreating garrison to the main camp.
village fell as planned. But the second part of the plan failed, and Caesar's men halted some distance from Ptolemy's camp. Then he tried to attack from two sides, from the plain, and along the abyss between the camp and the Nile, but both attacks were unsuccessful. However, during this battle, most of the Alexandrians came under attack, leaving the highest part of the hill undefended. Caesar sent a small detachment under the command of Carthalo to attack this part of the camp, and they soon succeeded in overwhelming the few defenders remaining there. As soon as the Romans broke into the camp in one place, its defenders were demoralized, allowing the Romans to break into several other places. The Alexandrians tried to flee, but many were crushed by the moat that surrounded the camp, while others drowned in the night. Among the dead was Ptolemy, who reached the apparent safety of one of his ships, but drowned when that ship was flooded by a mob of refugees and the Ptolemaic army was routed.
Immediately after the battle, Julius Caesar set out with cavalry and rode back to Alexandria, where many of his men were still under siege. As word of victory spread, the remaining Ptolemaic forces surrendered. The 12-year-old Ptolemy XIV became the co-ruler of Cleopatra, who wielded all real power and was now a devoted ally of Caesar. Ganymede was executed, and Arsino was exiled to the temple of Artemis at Ephesus. Afterwards, Caesar spent several months traveling through Egypt with Cleopatra, before continuing the Great Roman Civil War. Thank you for watching the video. I'm waiting for your comments. Subscribe to my channel to watch the next videos.